a holiday spectacle unlike any other. Twas the night before the holiday classic now has a Cirque du Soleil twist. The company's first ever Christmas show highlights the wonders of sharing and friendship. And you can see it live on stage at the Box Center Wang Theater. Joining us this morning is artistic director Annie St. Pierre and hoop diver Quentin Greco. <laughs> it's the show's first time on the Boston stage. Yes. yes, very exciting. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. It's so exciting to have you here to preview the show right before it kicks off. Yeah. How are you guys feeling um, with the show coming on tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, how is this show, how is Twas the Night uh, different from other Cirque du Soleil shows that people might be used to going to see? Mm. I think, but first of all, it's the first time that Cirque du Soleil is uh, producing and creating a holiday show. So that's, uh, that's really exciting for us to be part of this. And it's a theater show. That's also very different than the big top tour and everything. So, yeah. Okay, so a different feel. Yes. A different feel to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Quentin, you're coming back for your third year with this show specifically, right? Yes. And he has quite the impressive uh, resume. He I mean, does. The oh. amount of training <laughs> that you've had. You're a hoop diver. I mean, tell us a little bit more about even what that is. Okay, so hoop diving, it's hoops putting uh, on top of each other on the ground and the goal is to do acrobatics through the hoops without touching it. So Quentin, that, wow. that blows our mind. We don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of training goes into that? Uh, yeah, we need to train every day, kind of. And for the show, we have rehearsals every day. So we train for the show, all the technique. And after we rehearse the show, and yeah. They, they work so. very hard. They are yeah. very talented and passionate and hard worker. Very, yeah. What do you guys think that the audience is going to enjoy the most with this show? Um, the hoop diving act, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apart for all the performers, um, I think it, it's very magical. It's very, you know, you get like, as an adult, you get the, the child in you, in, inside of you, you get the spark of Christmas. It's really all about that. So it's really, wow. I do have to say, I remember going to my first Cirque du Soleil show ever when I was younger, and that excitement mm -hmm. that I felt, and I've always felt it every single time that I've ever gone back to one of those shows, they really are magical. It's the perfect way to describe them. Yeah. And to have the extra Christmas spirit too. I mean, it's supposed to be a really spirited show with the Christmas spirit, right? Yes, and the music also, it's beautiful because it's all Christmas song that we know, but you know, in a Cirque du Soleil flavor kind of, so Ooh. it's a we. <laughs> are there any challenges that come with a show like this, a production like this? I'm sure there are. <laughs> yeah, now for me, it's uh, the sh three show days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Saturday, Sunday, we do three shows every day, wow. and that's pretty tiring. I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot of diving through hoops. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Quentin and Annie, thank you so much for coming on, and we can't wait to see the show, and I'm sure Boston is going to love it. Yes. So exciting. Best of luck with your opening night tonight. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Well, Tuesday night uh, before opens tonight, and it runs at the Box Center Wang Theater in Boston through December 11th. You're watching WBZ this morning on the Morning Mix. We'll be right back.